place and you will feel only agreement where it says all the land of historic Palestine including the West Bank is described as the exclusive right of the Jewish people it is it is my friends a vision of indefinite occupation of continued Jewish supremacy and continued dehumanization of the Palestinian people. And it is a vision of constant violence, constant murder. It is a vision of ethnic cleansing. And now it is a vision of genocide. But, but, for 76 years, Israel has failed. Israel has failed. My name is Faris Amir. Uh, the genocide has been going on for 11 months now and it has not only been in Gaza, it also expanded to the West Bank. Currently in the West Bank we see uh, murders every single day. Uh, we even saw the murder uh, of a, an American activist um, killed by an Israeli sniper. And as expected from the United States administration, the same condemnation that they would provide to uh, against the, uh, the killing of Israelis does not happen uh, when it's uh, someone who is pro-Palestine. Now, it's been going, going for 11 months and we've seen Netanyahu stall uh, the uh, ceasefire negotiations because he does not want the genocide to end. The man is a warmonger, a criminal, and he belongs in The Hague. And it must be understood that there are ways in which the governments uh, in the West can put pressure on Netanyahu, but they also they uh, are not too interested in ending the genocide at this point. In the UK we've seen protests ongoing since October last year for almost 11 months and they will continue to happen as long as the genocide continues. And uh, the movement is not slowing down in any way, shape or form. In fact, uh, we will be uh, going out on protests more often right now and we see with the universities uh, coming back that the students will come back 
to protest and demand that their institutions divest from genocide. I know that it looks bleak right now, it's been 11 months and we have not been able to secure a ceasefire and an end to the onslaught against the people of Gaza. But we must understand that because we are out in the streets, because we are protesting, because we are posting on social media, the needle has changed. We have moved things. Without us moving out in the streets, without us ch uh, chanting and protesting, there would, no be, there would not be an ICJ co uh, court case. There would not be a block of, admittedly, a small amount of arms, but there would no, not be a block of any arms uh, being sent to Israel by the British government. That happens because of the mass movement that's occurring across the globe. And we must continue to put the pressure on, and uh, we must not give up. We, are not, we need to remember that things don't happen with one action or two actions. It must reach a critical mass. And as long as we keep the pressure up, we will eventually reach a critical mass, and we will see justice served.